Hi, you guys. So today I have with me problem 6.1. Before we get started on this problem, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you think my videos are helpful. Okay, so you might have noticed that this is from chapter six, and I just wanted to mix it up a little bit. That's really just why. And I thought this is a simple enough problem, so why not? Okay. You push your physics book 1.50 meters along a horizontal tabletop with a horizontal push of 2.40 newtons, while the opposing force of friction is 0 0.600 newtons. How much work does each of the following forces do on the book? A, your 2.40 newton push, B, the friction force, C, the normal force from the tabletop, and D, gravity. What is the net work done on the book? Okay, so let's just talk a little bit about what work is, right? So if I wanted to describe work, I would use an equation. So what is work? And this is the equation that I would use to describe it, right? So you've probably seen this formula and it's just the dot product between force and displacement, right? And if you haven't taken calculus and you're just a little bit unsure about what this notation is really it's just if we have two vectors right so let's say this is like vector f and this is vector s what we can simplify this equation into just the magnitude of f times the magnitude of s multiplied by the cosine of the angle between them right so that's literally just it and I found a really good way to online to describe what work is. So work is the transfer of energy by a force acting on an object as it is displaced, right? So as we're displacing an object, work is the energy, the transfer of energy involved. That's really just it, right? And you'll get a better idea as I actually do this problem. Okay, so let's go back to our question. So one thing we can do is write down our knowns. So, so let's start by writing down our knowns. Right, so we want to push this book 1.50 meters. So the displacement of this book, right? Or actually, you know what, just to be consistent with the notation, let's say that this is S. Okay, that's going to be 1.50 meters in some direction, right? Um, let's just say horizontal. Right, let's just say horizontal right. Actually, it, that's not even necessary. Let's just say horizontal for now. And I think when we draw our diagram, things will make a little bit more sense. Okay, so... I'm going to put this in, in, in brackets right now. Okay. Then we want to push with two force is going to be the force of the push is going to be 2.40 newtons. Then there's going to be an opposing force of friction and that's going to be 0 0.600 newtons. So how much work does each of the following forces do on the book? So we can see that there is the push right? There's the force of friction, there is the normal force, and there's gravity. So, you know, to me, I hear that and I say, why not just draw a diagram to illustrate everything that's going on with this book? So let's just say that this is this tabletop and this is this, that's a horrible book. Okay. Speaking of books, I am reading, I'm rereading Harry Potter right now. But if you have any good book suggestions, please leave them in the comments. The next thing on my list is actually a book my coworker recommended to me. And it's Stephen Hawking's, I think, Theory of the Universe or Theory of Everything, something like that. But I'm really, really, really excited to read that. But yeah, if you have any other suggestions, I would love to know them. Okay, anyways, back to our problem. So we have this push, right? So let's say that we are moving this book from you know, this central point to this central point. So let's say that this distance traveled or this displacement is 1.50 and let's call it right, right? So it's not that important, but because we did say that it's a vector, we're gonna give it a direction. So we're gonna say that this is right, 
And that's why I was a little bit hesitant when assigning this like horizontal because horizontal is not really a direction, but right is, right? So right horizontal. Okay. Now back to our diagram. There's going to be the force of friction, right? So, or sorry, we're going to push it this way, right? So we're going to have F push. And friction is obviously going to be opposing, right? Because friction doesn't work in the same direction. It works in the opposite direction. Then there's going to be force of gravity, which is going to be down, right? And then there's going to be normal force because it's on the surface of something, right? So it's going to be Fn. And yeah, that's our diagram. So now let's look at what the question's actually asking. And the question is asking, how much work does each of the following forces do on the book A, your 2.40 Newton push? So how much work does this force do? How much work does the push do? Well, work of the push or work in general, we said is going to be F dot product with S, right? So if we look at F, uh, it's going to be FP right over here. And we can rewrite that as scalar of FP times, you know, sorry, magnitude of FP times magnitude of displacement times the cos of the distance, or sorry, the cos of the angle between these two vectors, right? So as we can see, FP right over here and the direction that it's moving, they have they're parallel to each other. So the cos theta of two parallel vectors is just going to be zero. And FP, we said, is 2.40. And then S, we said, is 1.5. And if we add that together, that is going to be, or sorry, if we multiply that together, that is going to be Three point six joules, right? Because this has a unit of energy. Okay, awesome. Now let's move on to B. The friction force. So now we're gonna have W F for friction. Again, dot product of force of friction with displacement. Okay. So again, it's going to be the magnitude of force of friction times the magnitude of displacement times cos of the angle between them. Now, notice here, these are opposite of each other, right? Well, they're, they're anti-parallel. So that means cos is 180. Force of friction, 0 0.6 times 1.5. We plug that in and we get 0.9 joules because again, work is energy. Work is a unit of energy. Okay, so now see the normal force on the tabletop. So C, F, N. Again, we're going to do W, N. Normal force dotted with the displacement. So magnitude of the normal force, right? Times magnitude of the displacement times the angle between these two vectors. Okay, so this vector, F, N, goes straight up, right? And the displacement we said is this. So this is a 90 degree angle, right? Because um, F, Fn is going to be parallel, or it's going to be perpendicular to the surface. And this is, you know, um, parallel to the surface. So that's a 90 degree angle. So that means zero. And that makes sense because you have to, 
you have to apply to get any, you know, non-zero value force has to be applied in the same direction that it's moving or else, you know, your force didn't really do any work to move it there. Okay. Or to give it that displacement, right? And that's the whole point of force because, again, we said it's the transfer of energy for displacement of something. Okay. D. And as you might guess, gravity is also, you know, um, pointing downwards, and that is perpendicular to the direction that we're moving, right? So you can say it's 270 degrees, you can say it's negative 90 degrees, whatever you really want. But we know, actually, I'm going to do the do the actual, I don't know how much force of gravity it is, how much work, yeah, force of gravity is doing on the book. So let's let's actually work it out. So work done by gravity, but done by the force of gravity. So it's going to be Fg dotted with displacement. And that's going to be equal to F magnitude of Fg times magnitude of S cos 270, right? Because this and this, you can say that this is 270, or you can say that it's 90. doesn't really matter, but okay. And that's why you might have noticed that hey, it's asking for how much work the force of gravity did, but we don't know what you know the weight of this book is. So how are we supposed to know how much work gravity did or force of gravity did, right? Normal force, same thing. We don't know that piece of information, but guess what? We don't even need to know it because it's zero. Awesome. So that's A, B, C, and D. These are, the, these are our values. Now, E is what is the net work done on the book? I'm going to go ahead and just erase this corner. So net work done on the book. Well, we just have to add all the, the summation of all the work done by all the forces, right? So it's going to be WP plus WF plus WG plus WN. And that is going to be... 3.6 joules, right? Minus 0 0.9 joules plus 0 joules plus 0 joules. And all together, that is 2.7 joules, right? And significant digits, there's always three. So we have to say it's going to be 2. 0 0.70 joules. That is the network done on the book. Okay, that is our solution for this problem. I hope it was helpful. Again, please don't forget to like and subscribe, share with your friends, share with your classmates. I'd love to read your comments. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, you can always email me if you're shy. And if you're not shy, then you can leave them in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.